What are some nutrients that help lower cholesterol? There are so many. I can't remember them off the top of my head. So I'm going to look them up in my book. So uh, in my book, I examine 27 different links between uh, one specific health uh, outcome and one specific nutrient, but every nutrient has multiple like health and disease associations and every thing that can go wrong with us health wise has multiple nutrient associations and cholesterol is a doozy. Uh, nutrients that decrease risk of high cholesterol, arginine, betalines, carnitine, carotenoids, chromium, conjugated linoleic acid, coenzyme Q10, copper, uh, icosapentaenoic acid and docosahexaenoic acid, the two long chain omega-3 fats, fiber, gamma linolenic acid, leucine, linoleic acid, medium chain triglycerides, oleic acid, phytosterols, polyphenols, uh, pyroloquinoline quinone, PQQ, uh, short chain fatty acids, stearic acid, taurine, thiosulfonates, valine, vitamin B3, vitamin B5, vitamin C, and zinc, uh, which is why we see um, diets that are uh, beneficial for not just like lowering cholesterol, lowering blood pressure, but like lowering cardiovascular disease risk are very nutrient dense diets where we're incorporating lots of foods that are good sources of all of these things. So you'll see there's a lot of phytonutrient categories in that list, which is why eating a lot of fruits and vegetables reduces cardiovascular disease risk. Fats that are found in nuts and seeds and seafood are on this list, which is why a diet that includes seafood and nuts and seeds reduces cardiovascular disease risk. Um, we have some some interesting um, like other nutrients, right? Chromium um, is there's not there's not really extensive data on what foods have chromium, but like one of the best food sources of chromium is is cocoa powder, like dark chocolate. And sure enough, dark chocolate uh, reduces risk. So um, and you know fiber that just is why a plant forward diet. So a diet that incorporates lots of fruits and vegetables, uh, pulse type legumes, meaning lentils, chickpeas, and beans, um, nuts and seeds. That's why a, a diet like that, where we're getting lots of fiber reduces cardiovascular disease risk. Um, not necessarily that we have to avoid animal foods, but just making sure we're getting enough plant foods. Um, and it's because there are so many nutrients that are involved in uh, our like cholesterol levels. So um, this is part of the appendix B, which lists all of the nutrients linked to 120 different health conditions in my book. Um, and it's that's that's why I don't have that committed to memory because that was that was so many nutrients. Um, they're not all not all the lists are that long. There's there are some things that are a little bit more straightforward uh, from understanding the link between a, a condition and our. Uh, nutrition overall. But um, yeah, that uh, uh, almost all of them, not all of them, but a large fraction of them. <laughs>